Have you ever been in a situation where it feels like things are taking a step forward, but then things take three steps back? Are you feeling confused when you're promised outings, gifts, dates, but none of them happen? My friend, you may be experiencing future faking. Let's explore what that is and how you can spot the signs to avoid this red flag altogether. Future faking funny business. Future faking is when that person is making a bunch of future plans, but they never seem to come to fruition. Psychologist and researcher Alyssa Roberts says it's a way for some people to keep others hooked without really committing to anything. There are many reasons why someone might future fake. While we never want to attempt to diagnose or label anyone, people can future fake due to personality disorders, to avoid breaking up with someone, to avoid getting serious, or even to speed up intimacy. It doesn't always sound the same. Future faking doesn't always look or sound the same depending on the person, the situation, and the plan they're trying to avoid. Here are a couple ways someone might be future faking. Sign number one. We've already mentioned the first method and that's just simply never following through. Let's say you love new restaurants and are quite the foodie. Your person may say that they're gonna surprise you with dinner at a new restaurant in town. When your birthday rolls around, you ask what they have planned, but they say, nothing particular, whatever you want. Sign number two. Another method is changing up the plans or changing them at the last minute. Let's take that same example of your birthday. Your person says they're surprising you with dinner at a new restaurant. Instead of pretending like that conversation never happened, they might say, ooh, actually, I was thinking we'd go to the beach, walk around and grab some food there. You're happy that you're still doing something for your birthday, but slightly disappointed that it wasn't what you were promised. Sign number three. Another and more dramatic way of future faking is by dangling marriage in front of your partner. This method is typically used whenever the future faker may be at risk of being broken up with or if their partner is asking for a higher level of commitment. The awful thing is that now you're expecting a proposal or at least believing your partner is thinking about marriage when they aren't. Sign number four. Remember what love bombing is? This is yet another way of future faking. One of our writers went through a divorce recently. She told us that she and her husband had a bucket list that they started within the first three months of their relationship, including all sorts of wonderful things like restaurants to try, riding a motorcycle together, and more. After the divorce, she realized something. None of those things ever happened. He had made Mr. and Mrs. comments and even talked about promise rings. But when an actual engagement ring was on her finger, all this romance had disappeared. Sure, they got married, but where was the rest? Sign number five. Have you ever been on the hook for someone? What's on the hook? Just another future faking strategy. Let's say you're crushing on someone at work hard. You decide the worst they can say is no, so you finally work up the nerve to say something to them. You say something like, Hey Logan, look, I don't do this a lot, but I really like you. I'd like to go on a date and see where things go. They say, wow, you're really awesome and I'd love to hang out. I just can't right now. And there it is, the magic phrase, right now. If someone is telling you how much they want to be with you but can't right now, this sets your expectation that you two will be together when all obstacles have cleared. However, the person doing the excuse making, rather future faking, has no intention of being with you ever. Have you experienced any of these situations? Are there any other ways someone can be future faking? Let us know in the comments below. How do I protect myself? The most important thing about future faking is there needs to be a pattern. A pattern isn't once or twice every blue moon. We are human and allowed grace and room to make mistakes. However, there's a big difference between forgetting a date or plans once in a blue moon and forgetting, changing or putting off all future plans. Once you see the pattern forming, it's time to talk to them. It's very important that this is a calm conversation without accusations and that both of you are open to the conversation. It may be helpful to schedule the conversation to make sure you are both in the right headspace. To ensure you're not accusatory, you might say something like, when you change or forget about plans you've made with me, it makes me feel, then you finish. If you feel like you're not getting direct answers, you can also ask more direct questions like, did you intentionally cancel plans? Or do you realize how I might feel when you forget or cancel plans? It is important to always redirect the conversation if you feel it is getting more hypothetical than solution based. In this conversation, it is important to set boundaries and make it clear that the words aren't what mean something to you. It's the follow through behind the words. 
After an honest conversation, see what happens. If things don't change or the conversation never happened, it's time to evaluate this relationship. It can feel incredible to have someone telling you all of the adventures you'll go on together and the fun you'll have. But how good does it feel waiting for those promises to become reality? You deserve to have promises kept. You are worthy of that. Don't fall for a future faker. Are there any other dating red flags we should do a video on? Comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We're almost at 12 million. Help us get there.